9.20 a.m. in Clewiston, Florida. Cain was to be raised on this beautiful December Sunday as the United States Sugar Corporation's Lake Placid Limited was prepping for a day out on the high iron. Today's train was to be powered by USSC number 148, an Alco 462 Pacific type built in 1920. Recently restored by U.S. Sugar and contractual workforces, this beautiful steam locomotive is the crown jewel of Florida railroading. Today's sold-out trip would occupy three passenger cars, with Big Sugar's newly restored Palmdale coach and Miami Lacks open-air car, as well as the famous Georgia 300. I'm fairly certain the 300 was acting as an executive car of sorts, as its passengers were boarded separately, and, well, it's the Georgia 300, notable for hauling three U.S. presidents. The Pullman heavyweight is now serving a much humbler role on the Sugar Express, USSC's dedicated operating entity for anything 148. As the scheduled departure time of 10 a.m. closed in, my dad and I relocated just up the main line, giddy with excitement. The Lake Placid Limited is running on the Moorhaven District, taking passengers and rail fans alike on a 112-mile round trip to its namesake town through some magnificent Florida scenery. The 462 Pacific was built in 1920 for the Florida East Coast and sold to USSC 32 years later. 148 was among a handful of Pacifics on the Sugar roster up until dieselization, which prompted its sale in 1969. The locomotive left Florida and bounced around across New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Michigan, and Colorado before being reacquired by U.S. Sugar in 2016 with hopes of a full restoration. USSC treated 148 to a special 100th birthday present, with restoration completed in April of 2020. The Lake Placid Limited is USSC's inaugural passenger train, and it was more than a pleasure to be watching the 101-year-old steam locomotive doing the honors. Lewiston is the USSC's home base, with their locomotive shops and makeshift platform downtown, as well as their giant sugar refinery just to the south. This is where all loaded cane trains are destined and all empties originate. Amidst all the passenger commotion, there is still a freight business to be run, as GP40-2 number 503 departs town hot on the excursion's heels, with some purpose-built cane cars returning to the fields. The chase was on once the empties had made way, and a chase it was indeed. USSC's track speed is quick, and the strong little engine had no trouble getting up to the 40 mile an hour limit. As with any train chase, intensity builds relative to the train's speed. After intercepting the Limited at Glades County Road 720, we were all quick to mobilize. En route to our next location in Moorhaven, the drive brought us among a crop duster pulling off some serious acrobatics. I kinda wanted to pull off and watch for a bit, but didn't have much time to play with as we got to Moorhaven with about one minute advantage.
It was really great to see all sorts of locals out for the train, and makes me hopeful that public interest will help catalyze a more steady tourist operation for the Sugar Express. There are tentative plans in place for such a reality, but for now, we were just happy to be chasing the Lake Placid Limited on this sunny Florida winter day. The train had slowed through Moorhaven in order to cross the town's aging swing bridge, which allowed us to get well ahead by the east side of Palmdale. The cane fields are now gone, having made way for oak and palm trees as the train cuts through the Boar Hammock. <laughs> It certainly is the Sugar Express. Even with the Alco's warp speed, my dad and I were pleasantly surprised at how easy it was to gain ground on the excursion. Moving from one side of Palmdale to the other, we were excited to pull up to the Fish Eating Creek Park and its country crossing. Surrounding the creek are tall weeds and steam trains, making me feel as if I was living out a scene in a land remembered. Morning long, we had seen signs for the SCFE. While the USSC owns and operates the majority of the physical trains around here, the South Central Florida Express has rights to almost all of the track. There are some gray areas when differentiating the two companies, but it was pretty straightforward on the Moorhaven district, as USSC's Sugar Express was sprinting towards Lake Placid on SCFE steel. Closing in on Lake Placid, the scenery had shifted from Kane to another Florida icon, Citrus. We were moving north along Old State Road 8 towards Bear Point Road, which provided the day's money shot. The attractive little train was quite the subject as it swept its way around the buttermilk curve. Check out that gyrating tail light, pretty cool. The Lake Placid Limited was certainly showing off this morning, with 148 and its consist making for a spectacle of a train. We had assumed Bear Point to be our last roll-by, but were happily proved wrong as the engineer reined the steam locomotive in on the approach to Lake Placid. We were set up downtown as the first passenger train to call on Lake Placid in over 60 years eases into its station stop. The Lake Placid Limited was setting all kinds of records on this sunny morning. 
It's the first passenger train to call on its namesake town since the late 1950s, with Florida's only operational steam locomotive leading U.S. Sugar's first passenger excursion. The steam engine wasn't the only American icon we saw on Lake Placid, as we caught a bald eagle coming out to train watch alongside us. A couple hundred yards down the track sits the Lake Placid station, where guests have all detrained to enjoy a two-hour layover. The rail fans hadn't broken for lunch just yet, however, as 148 was to run around its train in order to take on water and get in position to lead the southbound trip. After the lunchtime layover, the Lake Placid Limited, its crew, guests, and enthusiasts giving chase were all ready to depart back for Clewiston. 148 was underway at 2 p.m. on the dot, leading tender first for the homeward bound trip. My dad and I decided to wrap it up here at Lake Placid, more than happy with our chase of U.S. Sugar 148 through some great Florida scenery. Thanks for rail fanning with me today. I hope you enjoyed chasing U.S. Sugar's Lake Placid Limited as much as I did.